A huge AFC West showdown takes place on Sunday in the NFL as the LA Chargers host the Kansas City Chiefs at 4.25 p.m. Eastern time. And right now, Kansas City is a seven-point favorite in that game. Well, the Chiefs finally put together a dominant performance after winning their first three games all by one-score margins and, quite frankly, have been a little bit lucky. They very easily could be 0-3 instead of 3-0 and if you watched any of those contests and watched the last five minutes of each game. Uh, the Chargers, can they hang with the Chiefs without Justin Herbert uh, or, or if Justin Herbert plays and he most likely will be nowhere near 100%, could they hang with the Chiefs and stay inside this healthy seven-point home underdog number? I have those answers, uh, and I'll get to that a bit shortly. Uh, but just first, a friendly reminder, folks, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please take a second to do so. Uh, just hit that subscribe button below. It's absolutely free. There's no strings attached, no hidden agenda. And after you subscribe, you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world right here on Wager Talk TV. And the best part, like I alluded to, 100% free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. While you're at it, folks, after you su subscribe or if you have already subscribed and you have not done so, uh, go into your YouTube settings and click on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be notified immediately upon any of our uh, content being published on our great channel. Uh, nice convenience there. All right, let's get to the matter at hand. Uh, Kansas City at the Chargers, 425 p.m. Eastern Time. Kansas City is seven-point favorite and a total of 40 in this game. Justin Herbert suffered a high ankle sprain uh, a couple of weeks ago. He tried to give it a go in uh, the Chargers' first loss of the season last Sunday, uh, but he wasn't able to stay on the field, and he took himself out of the game uh, because he just couldn't operate. A high ankle sprain, for any of you who know, um, is the worst degree of an ankle sprain. There is third and second degree high ankle sprains that's categorized but as opposed to just a regular ankle sprain, a high ankle sprain is uh, most likely uh, the one that's going to take the longer time to recover. Now, having said that, Herbert in the news this week or in the media has emphatically said that he'll be ready to go on Sunday. And they're doing everything in their power, to, meaning the Chargers training staff, <clears throat> to make sure he makes good on that promise. But my question is, is we saw what happened last week, and even if it has healed uh, much better than it did uh, last week, uh, how close to 100% is Herbert going to be against the Kansas City defense? And my guess is if he goes, he won't be anywhere near 100%, and it's going to affect the play calling of Jim Harbaugh, uh, Jim Harbaugh's offense. And uh, they've been run heavy to start the season so far, and I see uh, that being the case again on Sunday, regardless if Herbert plays or if he doesn't. Uh, based on the current line, I would say uh, that uh, the sports books are indicating to us that A, they don't think Herbert's going to play, and B, if he does play, he's uh, going to be not the factor he normally would be when healthy, because uh, there's no way in this matchup that the Chargers would be a seven-point or seven-point home underdog, even against the two-time defending world champion Kansas City Chiefs. Um, I, the Chargers, if they're going to stay in this game, really will have to rely on a strong running game, which they've exhibited so far, and a stout defense. And not only have they been stout, they've been excellent defensively in their first three games of the year. The Chargers' defense, 11 points per game and 267 yards per contest, and only allowing 4.9 yards per offensive play. Uh, the Chargers' defense has been excellent under first-year head coach uh, Jim Harbaugh. Uh, that, you know, it shouldn't surprise you with those numbers that I just rattled off, that the Chargers have gone under the total in all three games thus far, and there's only been a combined 30.3 points scored per game in the Chargers' first three contests. Kansas City is averaging 25 points per game. 
you know, and that doesn't shock you. As a matter of fact, that might shock you in the sense that uh, we're used to seeing Kansas City's around the 28 to 29 to 30 point per game average. Uh, but uh, in addition, they're only averaging 328 yards of total offense per game. So they have not offensively played up to their standard. They've shot themselves in the foot a little bit, too, as uh, they've been a bit sloppy committing five turnovers in their first three games. Now, Kansas City <clears throat> won their first three games all by seven points or less. And like I touched upon uh, earlier, if you watch the last five minutes of each of those Kansas City wins, they very easily could have lost on each occasion. They beat Cincinnati 26-25. Some questionable decisions by Atlanta's head coach, Raheem Morris, last week. Uh, and Kansas City held on, stopping them on a fourth and goal from inside the 10 on, on the final play of uh, Atlanta's offensive play of the game. And they came away with a 22-17 win in that contest. So, um, again, it's wins, and that's all that matters, but it's not dominating like we're used to uh, from the Kansas City Chiefs. Jim Harbaugh has really put his stamp on the Chargers to start the season uh, in his tenure uh, at Michigan and before as head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. Harbaugh's teams were no, uh, notoriously uh, very run-heavy and also – uh, very strong defensively, and they've run 58% of their offensive plays this year have been runs. And again, I went over their defensive numbers. Here's the thing. This is a very low total for the Kansas City Chiefs, and I know a lot of people, even in light of what I just said, would be very hesitant uh, to, go, to go under this total. I'm not one of them, and I told you this on uh, my college football videos earlier this week that uh, I've been a very good totals player throughout my career. And one thing I don't let affect me is I'm not afraid to go under a low total or over a high total if there's supporting data that backs that decision. In this particular instance, I think that is the case. And I'm going to go with the Chargers and Chiefs under the total of 40 in the NFL on Sunday. Folks, don't forget real quickly, 849 uh, we'll get you a 90-day all-access pass from any one of us over at Wager Talk, and that means every pick in all sports. And uh, right now, through Sunday, Wager Talk is saying if you purchase that package for $8.49 for 90 days, we're going to give you an additional 30 days free for any one of us at uh, at Wager Talk, and that's a uh, $299 value. They're throwing in free, and when it comes down to a folks. $8.99 for 120 days of, of every sport. Um, it amounts to a little over $7 a day and around $49 a week. So take advantage of that great offer. Also, folks, college football for me, um, I'm the number one money earner at Wager Talk since the uh, beginning of last season uh, in college football. And uh, on really nice runs right now of 22 and 11, 67%. And then dating back to September 9th of last year, 74 and 50, 60%. And a net profit of $4,912. The last two Saturdays in college football, I've gone eight and one. I have seven college football winners up for Saturday. That's right, folks. The last two Saturdays, eight and one, including three straight up underdog winners last week. And those three underdog winners, not only did they win all three of those games straight up, but they won them by double-digit margins. I had Navy, BYU, and SMU in those contests. Folks, it's not a fluke when it lasts that long. 58% winners since the start of last college football season. Number one in money earned during that time uh, at Wager Talk. And that's uh, something I'm very proud of considering the quality uh, of the world-class handicappers we have over at Wager Talk. So, again, take advantage of those offers, and uh, I will be back later with another free pick video. Until then, folks, take care and God bless.